When it comes to fights in the animal kingdom, the size of a weapon really matters. Deer with massive antlers or lobsters with huge claws often get a less endowed opponent to back down and scurry away. In the animal kingdom, those with more prominent appendages usually scare their enemies and win the fight before it even starts. The ones with smaller weapons tend to back off to a safe distance and run for their life, although they may never know that the fear-inducing sword was only a plastic toy. From deer antlers to lobster claws, many animals have weapons. These are often large, clunky, and heavy appendages that are metabolically costly for the animal to maintain. In clawed crustaceans such as shrimp, lobster, and crabs, their weapons can weigh more than a third of the animal's body mass. That's a lot of extra tissue to feed and maintain even when the animal is perfectly still. Size is hugely important for many animal weapons. In some cases, weapons are used as signals for fighting ability. If your opponent has a huge weapon, they're likely a formidable opponent. This kind of assessment can be useful in determining whether to persist in a fight or not. In other situations, weapon size is important because larger weapons are more effective. In most cases, the animal with the smaller weapon will just back down when faced with an opponent with an exaggerated one. Snapping shrimp, for example, use lots of visual displays and posturing before they engage in any injury-risking combat. In most cases, when there's a large size difference, the smaller individual will retreat before engaging in physically demanding fights. If they do come to blows, the large weapon is capable of inflicting damage.